Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about drawing views and dimensioning. I'm going to show you the drawing for this component. So I'm going to explain how to place drawing views and how to place the dimensions and uh, different options of uh, drawing views like a projected view, auxiliary view, sectional view, detailed view, and standard view, broken section view, and a crop view, break view. So I'm going to show you all these things. So this is for absolutely for beginners who doesn't know about the drawing and how to place the views in the drawing in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start now. See here we have to select the new and we have to select template whichever we want. So we can select the drawing template. It's drawing and we can say OK. So similarly I have taken a new drawing of A3 sheet. So now I am going to place the views in this drawing sheet. So initially we have to select this model and place it on the drawing. So we can see here the drawing palette either we have to place from this model or simply we can drag and drop from this view palette so there are two methods we can use any of this method and there is one more method simply placing the standard views so we can select the part and it automatically plays the standard views. So this is one method. So after placing we can keep as uh, isometric and we can keep it in shaded mode for better visibility and uh, we can move up and down and left side and right side for better placement of the views. and we have one more option that is projected view so we can select any one of the view and we can project in any direction say left side view isometric top view so this is the one of the method so pl for placing the views and uh, for auxiliary views for better visibility of uh, any inclined face for example this rib so we can select the auxiliary view and select any one of the edge see here this is how we place the auxiliary view Suppose uh, if I want to see the cross section of this hole, then we can create the sectional view. See here. 
so we can flip this view see here we can see the cross section and we can break the alignment and we can see simply we have to go to an alignment and break alignment and we can drag it here if i want to see any feature or cut out or any intricate shape of the component in detail view so we have to select this command detail view command and i am going to show this whole for example this whole so i can see this feature in detail and i can place the dimension so this is for better understanding of a particular feature or a particular shape shape of the component see here I, holes are not visible in this view if i want to see these holes in a broken section view then select this command and we can draw any spline and simply say okay see this depth is not sufficient so we can edit this depth so go to edit broken section view if you can see the preview so if i reduce it's not visible you can see hole over here so when i increase the depth so we can see this hole so that's how we create the broken section view so if i want to crop this view simply create a rectangle or circle at this location and select the crop so you can see only particular part of this view so this is how we use different options for views now i am going to show you how to place the dimensions of this view so here we have smart dimension we have different options to place the dimensions so we have to select the any two edges or any two points so for example if i want to show this dimension i can even select these two points so that is the advantage of smart dimension and if even if i want to place dimension vertically or horizontally then i can select vertical dimension say it places exactly this vertical one see smart dimension suppose if i select these two points this edge so it might select any one of the shows any of the dimension horizontal or vertical so when i select this point and this line it shows vertical line but if i select these two points so it is showing horizontal vertical and even inclined 
so that is the advantage of the smart dimension so to avoid such issues we have horizontal dimension so we can select these two points and simply place the horizontal dimension so this we have uh, this or vertical coordinate dimension and uh, horizontal coordinate dimension this is exclusively for uh, sheet metal mostly we use it for sheet metal so simply we can select any one point and place the origin and we can straight away place the dimensions basically we use this for sheet metal so we get the same value this is 160 and this is also 160 similarly we can place the vertical coordinate so if i select this as a origin so this is the dimension so here we don't have any chamfer we'll try to select this with rip it is you have to select one of the edge so it's not creating so i'm going to apply chamfer at this face let me see how it works so we have to select any one of the edge and this edge so it is showing the chamfer value see we have one more option like so when we place this view we can see this icon see here when we see i'm going to place once again place this uh, dimension and we can see small icon over here when we move towards this you can see the pop up window and select 2 into x so we can straight away give the dimension for example typical you can give typical so you can give any notes so if i want to show the as a inspection dimension i can show as inspection i can show as a reference dimension so i'm going to show you the notes simply we can place on one of the edge and you can write any comment like two holes with dia 30 mm so that is the advantage of this notes so you can place any notes not only here we can give notes for this drawing so we all dimensions are in mm for placing the views and the scale we can select the properties and we can scale to the sheet so 1 is to t 2 1 is to 4 1 is to h and we can select the angle of projection also like first angle or third angle projection so we have to edit in the sheet properties so next i am going to show you break you 
so if you, there is a long shaft or any pin which doesn't fit in the drawing so we can show it in a break view see for break view we can cut any portion to remove so it shortens automatically and we can select the type see if it is a straight one straight inclined zigzag this also kind of zigzag this is jagged cut so we can select any one of the option and uh, we can break this view and now it is easy for us to place the dimension see when we place this view dimension it uh, gives us the true value see it is showing as a zigzag mark see here so this represent it is showing the true value that is 500 mm and we can show the radius of the any feature like holes ear ear features and we can place the center mark of the holes see here so we can show this at this location also now this center mark is for placing the center mark of a hole when we show it in vertical, vertical direction see here we can place and we can place for the center of the rib also so we can select any two edges and we can place it see the advantage of the center mark is to place the dimension from the center see here the total distance is 160 we can see here so this is 180 it's so 80 similarly we can place distance of the hole from the edge to the center line so there are many other options in the drawing I am going to show you in detail in upcoming videos so you can watch the drawing module playlist of the SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.